Hello everybody, welcome to my house videos. Today I'd like to show you another one done by me. Another real one, a real live one. This one is called John C. Pugh House, Frank of uh, one of Frank Lloyd Wright's. So decided giving you guys a treat today. It is a Frank Lloyd Wright house. John C. Pugh. J O H N C P E W house. That's what this is. First I'll just kind of hover around the exterior of it. Let you kind of see around. And yes, this one's actually got the furniture inside. This house is located in Madison, Wisconsin. Pretty cool, huh? It's actually basically what people call the smaller version of falling water. This house, um, the reason why is because of this little ravine here. It's a drainage ravine. It goes right through here, and that's how the house really is. And I actually did my best to recreate it as it was. With all the rocks, the stairs carved into the rocks, etc. Gravel, the little bridge. No, I mean, Google image this, and this is what you'll be seeing. However, two differences that I do have here. Um, well, yeah, two differences. One difference is that this hill is covered in lots and lots of trees. I mean, this is a dense forest. forest. And here, you see this little pathway here? This is actually stairs. Rickety stairs just kind of going down to all the way down to like the lake over here so yeah but this isn't where the lake is the lake is way the heck over here and down along more because this actually gets steeper i just didn't make a lot of the land because i didn't have enough information to actually make an accurate model but i had plenty for this for this area of land though parcel of land that's why you see kind of how the land is right now so what you can kind of see here, this is the driveway view. This is what you this is what you first see of the house when you when you come by on down the road. The road kind of comes up a little over here. You watch my cursor; it kind of comes up here. So you can actually see the roof of the house from the road, or well, almost maybe something like that. Kind of looks like a frog in a way. That's how I always thought, and that's how a lot of people think of it sometimes. So you come in, as you can see here, the contours of the driveway. Kind of coming down, retention walls. And that would bring you down to the harbor, to the um, lake. So that goes to the lake. This goes down also to the, down here under the house. And as you can see, the house is clad in clad siding. You can see even under here. Um, it's actually what it's actually called shiplap. These things overlap, but I only drew the lines. I didn't actually do each individual overlapping board. The file would be overbearing, and it just looked too messy too. And actually, that's what explains the slant, as you can see, slant, slant, slant. So you can see in comparison with the with the vertical rock. As you can see, very good massing. I mean, very interesting. This house took weeks to, to do, I mean, just to kind of get everything it's accurate. But as you can see in the windows, I mean, that's, what, that's part of the reason why people like this one so much is because they can look in the windows and see it's look, it looks, you know, homey with all the furniture. And I mean, also, you don't get this every, this is not what you get every day. Probably the reason why Frank Lloyd Wright is so famous. Before we go inside, I want to show you another thing. It's just where a tree would go through, but I didn't construct the tree just because the file kept conking out on me, so I had to delete them all, which sucks. It was almost eight meg, um, almost eight megabytes with the trees and landscaping in place, so I'm just stuck with the contours. This computer is very, very slow. Alright, so we'll go in. This is the front door. And before that, um, this is kind of like a, a trellis here. A overhead trellis. Frank Lloyd Wright is big on trellises. Overhead trellises and as well as, um, yeah. 
here you can see just ship lap and in there that's a that's a tool shed so this is the car port so to protect your car from the rain one other thing note notice how low these ceilings are actually I'll show you how low they are let me get um one of one of the characters from um Google that's how high over that's approximately how high over your head the that is and these are this is a reflection to the actual ceilings in the home and upstairs it's actually it's all it's only like seven foot six here's like what is it seven feet let me see six foot nine I forgot well actually Frank a lot of Frank Lloyd Wright's houses do have very low ceilings I went into Tellyennison West and the beams were just over my head um, because he was a very short man all right let's get rid of him and let's go inside enough of the chit chat all right so this is this is actually what it looks like darn it I hate it when that happens okay so this is really what it looks like when you come inside door 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 oh yeah this is before I put doorknobs in my houses so you'll just see whatever's not in shiplap here is a door so whatever you see is a plain panel is a door front door coat closet nice little light light window here notice how also the I mean you saw how low the ceiling was outside and that's exactly the same ceiling as in here that's in crate okay before we go anywhere I'll show you this is basement this is um, coat, no, this is broom closet, kitchen, powder room, and we'll go in, we'll go in all these rooms in just a minute. And then there's your coat closet. Also, another thing to note about Frank Lloyd Wright space is a lot, um, whatever is not a, um, a gathering space, common space, it's very crammed. And yes, these ceilings are still low, but you see there's a coffered ceiling. Here, um, that's your living room. A lot. He was big on built-in shelves. Just um, Google Frank Lloyd Wright house if you haven't seen any of them. And interior. Google Frank Lloyd Wright interior, and we'll see a bunch of also built-in furniture. Um, this chair is freestanding though, but this table, this um, end table is built-in, and this desk is built-in. Here are these famous origami chairs that he designed and built himself. I'm going to, trust me, these, I have sat in one of these. These aren't the most comfortable chairs. You know, look, imagine, I mean, you sit here. Your legs come over here like a regular chair, but your arms kind of go over around like this. I, I mean, it really isn't the most comfortable chair. I mean, that is my commentary. Now, however, um, I actually did not make this chair out of confession. I did not make the chair. My good friend um, Jeff, um, Jeff had made them, and he let me download them and put them in the model, which I appreciate because this is what completed the model. Um, so, um, and I think his name is Jack Designs something. Um, Jeff Myers, whatever. Look for his YouTube channel. He has some great animations of Frank Lloyd Wright houses he's done, but I mean, this one I've done, um, the only help I got from him was just these chairs here. And he also gave me the idea to build this. Um, he suggested build a Frank Lloyd Wright house, and think, you know, okay, why not? So he gave me ideas, he said, uh, try the John C. Pugh house, and that's what I did. And it turned out to be an interesting little house. Alright, enough of the chit chat. See here these doors? These open out on all of them open actually. They all open and they come out onto this balcony here. Again, here's that hole where the tree would go through, but file size wouldn't allow it. Just because this computer is old and just. Yeah, not awesome. So yeah. But it makes for a nice little gathering space. Really nice. And you see, you still got the 
shiplap underneath the eaves, complemented by stone. All right, so we come in here, back in. This is the fireplace. You see, he has a little rock, basically a rock here. This is a rock as well. Yeah, I suck at rocks, so that's my rock. No, but I mean, if you can Google this house in, um, that's probably what you'll be seeing anyway. This rock was kind of like a kind of a cube thing, so it's accurate. And those stone floor, um, that's all part of it too, all the way through the foyer. Um, and on one other thing to note is that um, this house was built like back in thirty-seven or forty, whichever one of those years he built it in. Um, it's pretty late in his career. This house I uh, had actually what I learned is the furniture was a little <sighs> the furniture was a little different. It's actually a big big couch here and some other some shelves over here. And this table here actually didn't exist and these chairs were added later, but um as well as those chairs. I mean the table and the booth was always there, um, but the desk was always there, but these chairs are a little different than the original. But but what I did was I actually built what the house would look like today. Is if you were walking in with a tour guide, this is what you're seeing. And also, if you think about it, um, what I told you about going into Taliesin West, back in Tucson, Scottsdale, Arizona, it has changed considerably as well. I mean, design overall is pretty much the same, looks the same, but... I mean, canvas roofs have been replaced, yada, yada, yada. Um, wood beams changed to steel beams and some different furniture articles. But other than that, you know, I mean, it looks it looks legit. I mean, but some changes have been made. Uh, if you think about it, all Frank Lloyd Wright's houses had to go undergo millions of dollars in changes. All the roofs leaked, perfectly flat roofs, wood clad. I mean, not very good construction. Bad construction. I'm gonna say that to every one of Frank Lloyd Wright's houses. I mean, that's personally me, but interesting to look at. Anyway, so this is that little desk nook. Here is the dining room. So I guess you can take it as that being your breakfast or whatever you call it. So this is the legitimate dining room. Tables original to the house. Um, darn it, I hate. That was the chair, by the way. I used the cork wood just because it looked closest. Built-in booth section. Built-in shelves. As you can see, it matches the ship lap. Um, here is the kitchen. I added the di um, the dishwasher was added. The kitchen has been re renovated as well. Um, so this is what you're seeing in the kitchen. Cooktop, yep. That's your refrigerator, and that's the door back out to the um, foyer. Yeah, and then this is a uh, structural. As you can see, darn it, why? Okay, um, I'll prove that this goes out to the foyer. We'll go upstairs in a minute. See, we're back out into the foyer. This is that door to the kitchen. See, the door back into the kitchen. Kitchen window's looking out at your cars. If you had any. And this is a um, uh, powder room with just a toilet. That's all it has room for. Big window out, just looking at your carport. And if you're wondering what's in there, that's just a shed. An empty shed. And we'll look at the floor plan in just a minute. Well, I mean, after we're done here, you get sick of this. Oh, yeah, and another thing, I actually made the basement in here. So we'll go down there. Exposed beams, all stone. So you can see the door back up. The whole nine yards. Perfect. All right, we'll go. 
nothing really to see down there but just a room, but I made it anyway. Just to complete them all. As you can see, that's just behind the fireplace. Not much to see from the fireplace. But, um, we'll go upstairs now, and that's where, this is where the bedrooms and stuff are. So, we're going upstairs. There's a trellis up there. Now, what you're going to find here, it is very crammed. This isn't even a three-foot hallway. It's two foot six. Yeah, Frank Lloyd Wright would not fit in with today's standards. As you can see, a wooden clad ceiling, walls, the slant of the walls. It's funny how the, the clad is actually the structure of the house, which I find is very unusual. Let's see, you'll go. This is just a snaking corridor. This is the chimney. But, I mean, you get this nice terrace up here. This is a walkable terrace. Look at those doors, you see that? And see how thin the, the ceiling to... That is to the tar on the roof. Oh yeah, that's the chimney, by the way. And each window has a wooden shade. Yeah, and these are exact sizes, too. All this is exact. So windows, windows. We'll go inside those rooms in just a second. So you can see a very narrow hallway. But, I mean, the thing is also another thing about it being narrow is you have all the furniture you're going to see and just built in. So let's go in here. It's the first bedroom. This bed is built in, so you don't need to carry furniture up the stairs. The closet. I don't know how well you can see the closet, but you see it's just vertical boards instead of horizontal. You get a corner window. Each bedroom gets a corner window, so... The bedroom right next to this is the master bedroom. This is a linen closet. And like I said, each, all vertical boards, um, verticals are doors here. See? Let's see. Here's some cabinets above here. Here, his closet, her closet. Corner window. Shade. I don't know how well you can see these lines here, but they outline the, um, the overlap boards on the ceiling built-in double bed now there was a built-in desk here but I didn't I um, didn't have enough information to actually build it accurately so I decided to just leave it to, just to keep it the beds so you can see white carpet that's how the house really was here's the last bedroom Again, you know, there was something here, but I didn't actually build it. The bed is there, though. Built in. And anything that was actually to be furniture was all built in. I mean, so, you didn't have to get any more furniture for yourself. You didn't have to get it up those narrow, steep stairway, either. So, closet. Oh, yeah, but another thing is about these corner windows, you would get an awesome view of the forest. I mean, awesome. Madison, there's a lot of forests and greenery and the lake. Carpet in the bathroom. That's how he rolls. That's where you'd be looking out onto the lake. So, yeah, this is uh, his house, one of his houses. So, you just saw inside a real Frank Lloyd Wright. And this is how it really looks, too stained. Oh yeah, this is just a closet here. So, step. So, I mean, to think that the shiplap is the actual structure of the house, see? So, hopefully this model actually shows you what it's like to go inside a Frank Lloyd Wright house. 
crammed, small, unusual, a lot of built-ins, wood and stone. He used a lot of stone. Also a lot of wood. Let's see. Built-ins. You can imagine this took a long time to build, to make. So if I'm going to get any requests, if anyone were going to say, like, build falling water, I'm probably going to say no, just because. I mean, even though I do have floor plans and, and, and elevations, I still don't have very much information. And a lot of people have already built that model. Well, at least a number of people have. So I think I might, I don't think I'll do that. So, but I mean... Nobody I have actually ever, and then a lot of people have built the, people have built the Roby house, people have built the Innes house, people have um, built the Pearson residence, the Shiprock house, um, but this was the one that I've never seen from anybody, so I decided, that's why I made this one, it's because it was not made, I haven't seen anybody make it. Alright, so we'll come back out here. What we'll see here is. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Give it a second. Okay. That's just so that, well, you see what it did here was it actually showed some of these lines I tried to hide. But. I mean, this is, um, I only downloaded my own model. This isn't, the, this isn't in my actual model file. This is just something that I have um, pre-made pre and downloaded from my own library. So you can see the chimney here. This is the second floor. Go up these stairs here. We just went through this little hallway here. Bedrooms, bathroom. Yeah. And you see how all the closets work and everything? There are cabinets. But it would have been hard to see inside the model, but now you now it should be obvious because I also put my blacking black inside the walls. So you can see them well. What annoys me is a lot of people don't put the black inside the wall, so it just really annoys the eye, but how pleasant that is for the eye. I mean, that's awesome. Alrighty, then let's turn this off. Let's go downstairs. Here, home is where the heart is. That's what, that's what the home says. As you can see, here are those doorways that were hard to see um, when walking into the model. Here's the little toilet room. Frank Lloyd Wright was truly a visionary. Ugh. Right. Okay. And obviously, you know, those go downstairs. So just your little kitchen here makes a little strip. Dining room. Great dining room view, by the way. Little table there. And something else. Um, it's no. The land is the layer I want. This actually shows you where the basement is on the lot. Now that's actually why I had to explode the model. I'll explain to you in another video why I have to do that to view things that are not that were below zero layer. If I want to view them, yeah, it's crazy. Okay, here's just basically built up from this is all stone here. Reten stone retention to hold the house up, and to think that this. Here it could have a door here, but I guess it just didn't. I mean, 
Oh well. There's a space there. This is all stone again. This is unexcavated. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, do you want to know how low this is? Because I mean, people are, this is a place for people to walk. And water comes down here, um, down this ravine every now and then. You see these are obviously steps. And I did my best to, oh, to follow what this looks like. Real reten rock retention here. Because, I mean, I got plenty, lots of pictures of this place. Plus actual drawings done by him. Alright, let's put Bryce here. That is just above your head. See? Just put your hand up. Knock on the house. Yep, knocking on the house. Now imagine trying to have a party in this house. Um, I assume that that's what the house was designed for, considering it's somewhat open floor plan and um, bathroom down in the first floor, as well as all this balcony space. Wouldn't be surprised if that's part of what he was thinking. However, I couldn't think of what it would be like today. It's a really old house and very 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 thin floors I mean thin we're probably commonly thinking about something at least a foot thick I and mean, this is nine inches and that is not including the one inch batten boards nailed onto the talking about like six inch beams here I mean, come on well that's my story for today people I hope you liked it Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please rate, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And there will be many more to see in the future. All right, everybody, thank you. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.